Today is a very exciting day. We're gonna finish up Brittany's box. So we have some cool stuff in here. We have these old deers, grumpy people that are gonna sit on there. We have this amazing little jack-o-lantern. So this is kind of, well, we need to do some work on the inside here. But we need to embellish our embellishments. Okay, so this guy, I want to do this early on because we're going to do this into our cool house. And what I want to do is use our black glitter on here. So we have black glitter. And I think I want to fluff his... The layers, maybe we can't fluff the layers of it, but let's do that. And we're going to use our Nouveau glue around the edges, and then we're gonna pour this glitter out. So I'm gonna go around these edges on here, not perfect. Maybe just on the roof around the edges of the roof, around the edges of the baby roof. Just wanna get a little shine in here. Maybe on the door here in the middle. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, on the door, spread it out. But the rest of the places, I kinda want it to be globby, not spread out. So we're gonna, Put this on and we're gonna leave this alone. It can just sit there and dry because glitter's kind of a pain in the rear, but for Brittany, I'm willing to use it. Okay, next thing we wanna do is I have these wicked cool candies that we can put in here, right? And then maybe a few on the ground but I want to take, and the nice thing about these is you can color them with alcohol ink so they're even fancier. I should have had my old lady glasses for this. But we're going to give them a little zhuzh of orange. And this is alcohol ink pens. And I will probably do these up. All right, let's see. Can we do it this way? This is why I wouldn't do this for anybody but Brittany, because it's kind of funny. I'll probably do one for our house for Christmas. There we go. And then let's go around here. I wonder what would happen if we did India ink. Let's try that. Oh, <laughs> it goes around in a circle. I was like, oh, I feel like it's moving up. It just goes around in that whole circle. How fun is that? Okay. And that's drying almost immediately. I'm not feeling any, um, like I'm going to transfer it around. Where did we start? Right there. And that just made this super pretty. So now I know I can start at this end and just work my way up. I thought they were in circles, but they're, they go all the way around. And we're going to put what's called clear rock candy on this. And this is going to be weird because Tim Holt said you could paint them with your, with your glue and then just dip them in the clear rock candy jar. So... If I'm gonna if I'm gonna follow Tim Holtz, I feel like I should be in for a penny, in for a pound. Listen to him on this, because these are wicked cute. I don't know. I was thinking when I started that there wasn't very much oomph in the orange. Maybe it takes a minute for it to sink in, but I'm feeling like we got a good good amount. Let's let's try a wee bit of the India ink, because I think I have an India ink orange. Do we get a brighter color? And I don't know that that's working as well as the alcohol ink. Okay, so 
We are gonna go with this. Now, here's our Clear Rock candy. We are gonna get our squeezers. This time I will have to use a, um, a brush. I don't like to use the brushes because I'm not good at um, cleaning them. But we're just gonna take a little tiny bit of Mod Podge Go over this, and I want to get a fair bit on here because I want them to be shiny and sparkly. Okay, there we go. So there's one. I'm going to do all of those, and I'll be back. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is use some of this mummy cloth. Now, I love this mummy cloth because it's like cheesecloth. But cheesecloth is one of those things that gives me the like screaming willies. I just can't with the texture on it. But this mummy cloth is really cool. Okay. And the thing that's neat about it is it like frays itself. So you can make a really cool, creepy, like drapey thing going on. And we're going to dye this with a little bit of Indie ink. You can dye it with um, spray stains, you can dye it with anything. And since we want it to be less like Halloween purp or Halloween orange and more grungy, I'm gonna use a little bit of, that was um, pumpkin and this is terracotta. So this will get us a little bit of darkness in there, a little less cute color. Okay, let's open it up. Make sure we got, see, we got a little spot in the middle there. And India ink will stain your fingers. So if you're squeamy about having your fingers stained, probably use, um, water-based distress products. I like my stuff to be, um, to, to stick. And I think if I went and washed it off, it probably would not be as sticky, but I can't be bothered. All right, so we're gonna continue on with our, using our Nuvo glue. It seems to be doing us just fine. So I want, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting a little bit of this mummy cloth kind of around, right? Draping it over here a little bit so it comes out. And then we're gonna put these little candles on top of this base. So I'm thinking this is gonna hold with just having the candle sitting on top. Maybe I should put a little bit underneath. Let's put a little bit underneath. Let's give it a, the best chance. Okay, so we have that on there. We have that on there. Let's get our candles in order. We want our really biggest one. Set this down. Smoosh it in. Next one. Smoosh it in. Last one. Smoosh it in. And let's set this aside. Whew. Okay. How's our... Oh, those are doing really well. The thing I like the best about... Um, I got this little Simon Says Stamp silicone mat. And the thing I like best about it is it's silicone, so it will not... Um, like, stuff won't stick to it like glue and glitter. All right, we're gonna stick these down in here. Just a little peek of glue, because I don't want them 
falling out on Brittany. I don't want her having to manage her Halloween decoration. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. And we're going to, what do you think? Set this aside. <laughs> okay, let's start working on her box. And I have some pumpkins that we can emboss if we want. Do we, oh, where'd that glitter go? Oh, how's it doing? Let's see how it's doing. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, we didn't get any on this part. Darn it. Oh, it was still okay. Well, I guess we can definitively say our glue is still wet. Ooh, that looks cute. Look at those sparklies on that. It looks like I've gotten all of the non-hooked on sp <laughs> Cheater. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna put our glitter back in here. And glitter is literally the devil in craft rooms, right? It gets everywhere. So let's get a baby wipe. Let's clean this up. Let's clean my tray up. I know other people use just a piece of typing paper for their embossing or their stuff. I think maybe I'm just not that coordinated because um, I like having that... Um, I like having my embossing tray. Okay, so now let's, speaking of embossing trays, let's do a few things. We gotta get our India ink back because, oh, this brush is gonna be ruined. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am going to use a brush Oh, I might do a little bit finessey. That's a little finessey. And we're gonna um we're gonna paint these uh ooh, that's a weird texture. These with a little bit of India ink and kind of smudge them out. Now don't get weird that they have you know, orange on the, the stuff, they're supposed to be creepy and weird. This is supposed to be like a box that has been, you know, set in a back room and nobody's opened it in the longest time. And then when they do open it, there's this creepy, creepy scene inside. I'm also going to vintage this up a little bit with some brown, so... Don't get attached to anything. Okay, here we go. I am going to have orange fingers the rest of the day. Oh, got a blob of orange in there. Okay, okay, there we go. And I wanna kinda get this torn edge of this paper, right? Ooh, that's bringing a nice color in. Okay. So now we want Van Dyke Brown. Hold on, let me find Van Dyke Brown. Oh, sepia will work too. So we're gonna add a little bit of brownishness, brownish blackishness over here. Kind of a dirty, dirty, dirty green. Because we definitely do not want white. I like that we still have that gold look from the um, original box, but I don't want it to be a, um, a bright white and gold. Now this, I'm not going over the whole thing. I'm just selectively tinting, and especially where I feel like I didn't get all the white covered. Um, I don't want these to be too bright, but I also want them to, to be obviously orange. Maybe a little dirtier as we get down here. I love the texture of this. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right, so, see, I'm going to go around the outside of this. And just grunge that up. Go around the outside of this. Grunge that up. It would be dirty around here where people are touching it. So think about how people use boxes. All right, I'm going to grunge this up and I will be back. Okay, so we got the whole way around kind of grunged up. And now we are going to do some black sparkle. Now this isn't, um, this is embossing powder with black sparkles in it to kind of match with that. Um, this is a little different than uh, uh, glitter, right? Um, and I think we're going to use these two stamp sets, which I just find kind of creepy, right? Like this is my favorite stamp of all time for creepy, which is brew. So I need my stamp. Am I going to use my stamp block for... I'm going to use my stamp block for this one. All right. I'm not going to use my stamp block because I can't find it. It'll be fine. All right. All right. So we're going to stamp, ink this up real well. I'm going to put this right here on the corner because I love this one. And we're using our black sparkle. Oh, that looks cute. And now we emboss. Did we just not get it on that bottom part? Let's try a little bit more. See what happens there. Oh, there we go. Okay. And this is really cool in person. I don't know if, how well it translates on the camera. But um, the Black Sparkle is a fun, fun embossing powder. Okay, next we're going to do... I just love these spectacles. I'm going to do these spectacles right there. Okay. This might actually work better than using a stamping block because we have the dimension of that. Look how cool that is. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, I am going to go black sparkle emboss a bunch of this, and I will be back. We're at the final stretch. I did a ton of um, sparkle black embossing. I grunged up the inside here. Um, I am going to assemble my collage. So I'm going to put the stuff kind of in here. Then I'll tip it up so you can see it. And then I will glue it all down and I'll put a picture of it at the end. All right. So we have the people standing. We have the candles. We have the house. We have the basket with the little um, candies in it. We have our mummy cloth to kind of zhuzh this up. I may, um, I'm going to glue this down and I may put some um, mica across the bottom, but I will take a picture because I can't really show you this visually. It falls down, right? But I will take a picture and I'll talk about it at the very end. All right, here's how Brittany's box came out. I think it looks super fun, especially since this was my first real, real assemblage box i think that it turned out amazing and i'm very happy with the results hopefully you love it too tara jacobson artsy fartsy life